Hi everyone, I'm Pat Prokop for HeavenlyBackyardAstral.com. I'm in the Heavenly Backyard Garden at this time, and I finally have the Skywatcher uh, EQ6R uh, equatorial mount uh, finally assembled and the telescope sitting on top. The telescope itself is the Orion Eon 130 triplet apple chromatic uh, telescope at uh, f f7 with a focal length of 910 millimeters. It's a wonderful telescope and it's all sitting on uh, 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 top of the mount and I have it rather high. The reason I have it high is so that I can see over the roof. I need to see the uh, North Star Polaris uh, to help align with the telescope. Now everything is set up and I did the entire setup without using the hand control. Yep, the uh, Syscan that comes with the uh, Skywatcher mount is really not needed in the way I set this up. I want to show you how I set it up. Welcome to Heavenly Backyard Astronomy. I ended up buying this little ladder here to help me uh, with the telescope since I have it lifted so high. I need a little effort to get up to the top just to take off the lens cap and open up the uh, dew shield. And there you go. And the guide scope. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is just put the hand controller back into its protective uh, little storage case right here because I won't be needing this, uh, not whatsoever, because I traded this hand controller for a software product called EQ Mod. And with EQ Mod, I'm able to control the mount and, of course, the telescope. Also, I'm using uh, Stellarium to help track the uh, sky and to uh, use that as a go-to if I want to. But more importantly, I use Nina, Nighttime Imaging in Astronomy. And with Nina, uh, you really don't have to have too much of uh, anything, really. All you have to do is have it closely aligned to the North uh, uh, Celestial Pole. And from there, once you turn the, uh, the mount on and load in the uh, information into Nina, all you have to do is select a target and it will find it. By plate solving, it will find it, yeah. And it may take one or two passes if you're not completely on the uh, pole star, but if you're perfectly aligned, it usually gets it on the first try. And maybe, maybe a fine tune after that. But the target that I wanna shoot for is going to be rising after midnight way over there in the northeastern sky. That is going to be the Western Veil Nebula. That's the target I'm gonna be shooting at. And I'm gonna do this using Nina. And once I have it programmed, I can actually go to bed, assuming everything is all uh, set up and ready to go and there's no clouds out there uh, to, to block the images. Uh, Nina will take it from there. So again, let's, let's take a look. So the first thing I wanna do is open up our remote desktop and this is the remote desktop uh, setting for telescope number two. And we'll connect, and it connects over into here. We want to uh, enter three things. The first things we want to do is we have to get organized here, and we have to load EQ Mod, Stellarium, and Nina. Now, if you don't have those on your computer already, you're going to have to download those. All you have to do is go to your favorite uh, browser and Google. Uh, EQ Mod, Stellarium, and Nina, and download the programs and get them associated into your system. But if you ha already have them, then good. So let's open up. The first thing you want to do is open up EQ Mod. And to do that, I have it right over here. Uh, right there is the EQ Mod toolbox. Now, if you go into programs after your first download EQ Mod, uh, go into um, EQ Mod right there. And you see there's a bunch of programs. Um, what you want to do is open toolbox. EQ Mod toolbox right there. And open that up and then hit driver setup. Now the mount will be on a particular drive. You don't know where that is at the moment. So what you need to do is go into your device manager. Device manager. Click on that, 
go into device manager and look under ports and com uh, communications and line printer whatever but you know ports and communications and there you're going to see a couple ports that are taken now I just happen to know that the mount is on COM6 and my focuser is on COM4 so double click on COM6 and assuming that your mount is on COM6 and go to the port settings and you want to make sure that it's on 11,520, or actually 115,200 um, is your setting there. It defaults somewhere down around 9,600. But make sure it's at 115,200. And then say OK. And then over here, make sure that on EQ Mod, it's at the same uh, speed. We want it at 11,500. So, and then OK. There you go. All right, you can close that and you can close your device manager and uh, ASCOM Connect. And I'm assuming you have the ASCOM uh, system on your computer as well. So ASCOM Connect, and there it is right there. And uh, I can close this out now, and uh, that closes out uh, EQ Mod. Don't worry, I have it all set up in Nina. So let's go to Nina. And uh, I just uh, downloaded the latest version of the nightly build. I'm on 11.1, .1, and I think the nightly build now is 92 or 94. We'll see when it opens up here. I love Nina. Nighttime imaging in astronomy. It's really nice. So I have my uh, uh, profile here, the EQ6 are with Orion Eon in the ZWO camera. So loaded profile. And I'm going to go to full screen right now. And I got everything all set up. I have the camera. Uh, it's going to be the ZWO uh, 71. Uh, don't have a filter wheel. The focuser is going to be the Pegasus Auto Focuser. Uh, don't have a rotator. The telescope, there it is, EQ Mod. That's one thing you have to make sure you add to that is EQ Mod 5.6. For this mount right there and if you need to change the settings on it you can do it through nina as well just see right there that's the same thing as the um the toolbox say okay um and then for the uh, guider i'm using phd2 and, and and the setup in phd2 also you need to add the um eq mod to that if you haven't already i'll show you that when we get to it and let's see what else do i have i have no switching no switchers uh, no flat panel, no, I don't care about the weather, um, I'm the weatherman, uh, dome and safety, I don't need that. Okay, so I'm all ready. Is it, oh, this is nightly build, what is it, number 94. All right, so what I want to do is go down here and connect. Connect all devices? Yes. Okay, watch, connects everything here. Camera connected, telescope connected, um, focuser connected. Now it's going into PhD and it connected that. So let's just quickly go to PhD 2, and I'll show you. Um, I'm going to hit stop. Um, now, in the mount, you want to make sure it's on EQ mod. I'm going to disconnect it for the moment and show you the different, you know, you get, you get all the different options here. What you want to do is uh, choose EQ mod um, 5.6, ASCOM, and, and then connect. But once it's set up, it connects automatically in Nina, once you have it set up in Nina. Okay, we're done with that. So I want to first start off by looking for the moon. And uh, I don't have to, but I want to. But to do that, I need to do something else. So first of all, notice my mount is parked. Uh, I'm going to wait to unpark it uh, just a minute. I'm going to go into Stellarium. Now, that's a nice little software. Uh, it's free. By the way, Nina is free, but, it, you know, if you're going to be using it, go ahead and support the guys. They're doing a really great job in uh, developing this, this free program. All right, here we are. I think it's, uh, you know, uh, alt con Control 2 zooms me out a little bit. And there's the moon up there. So uh, I have this set 
so that the telescope automatically loads. Let's make sure and see if it's loaded. And um, the telescope is loaded. If, if it's not set, you can configure um, the Stellarium to connect to your telescope. Um, and you got the options there uh, and so forth. Anyway, the telescope is connected. So well, I'm good about that. And by the Eon 130. Okay, it's connected. So what the first thing I want to do is click on the moon. There it is right there. And I got the telescope sitting at um, at the North Celestial Pole. So let's go back to that once again. And um, I want to unpark the drive. Now it's unparked. And this should be zero, 00. Why is it not saying zero, 00? Well, let's go back to Stellarium and see what happens here. Uh, go into the SLU telescope. Uh, current position, current object. Right there. And SLU. Alright, now supposedly the telescope is slewing to the object. Now what I can also do, go back into Nina, I'm going to turn off the camera and I'm going to shut it off because I'm going to go into another program. I mean, I can do it in Nina, but uh, it's easier to do it in uh, SharpCap. Okay. Let's see. Uh, SharpCap. Okay. Camera. Look at that. It's right on the moon. I mean, come on. It's dead center. <laughs> I, did. I mean, uh, I would imagine during this uh, testing here, it would have been off a little bit, but come on. I mean, being, being right on. I'm a little bright. I'm going to bring down the, um, okay, <laughs> it was uh, spot on, so I'm, I'm surprised at that. This is this is a live picture of the moon. It's still a little hot here, but uh, oh, too cold. Bring it up. Anyway, you know, if I wanted to shoot the moon, there it is. Um, I can zoom in a little bit. Um, maybe a little bit more. Okay. 75. That's a little bit too much. I'm a little bit out of focus, um, but I can I can deal with that later. All right, so I, I'm all right. We're we're on target. Okay. Um, don't expect this on your first try. Uh, I, I that was lucky. Um, wow. Okay. Uh, close camera. Sure. All right. Close that. Now I'm going to go back into Nina. And uh, connect that camera again. And, and while I'm connecting, I'll, I'm going to start the cooling process. I'm going to turn on the cooler. I'm going to take it down to minus five. I noticed in this heat and humidity here in Savannah, um, getting it down to minus ten just starts causing all kinds of issues. So I'm, I'm happy with minus five or even zero degrees Celsius. Um, but the outside temperature is uh, somewhere around what 32 degrees Celsius and Fahrenheit. That's like 90. Uh, somewhere around upper 80s, lower 90s. Anyway, okay. So uh, another thing about uh, going back to Stellarium, uh, go to full screen for a moment. And um, if the telescope was not on the moon, if it was over here somewhere, and you had it centered, and you could center it by slewing um, with your um, uh, EQ mod. Where's EQ mod? There it is. You, you can go east and west, north and south, and so forth. And then once you have the moon centered in your um, your visual, your camera, then you go back to the here and you just hit sync. And it'll sync it with this right here. So I'm already sunk. <laughs> sunk? Uh, already synced. Uh, and so here we are. All right, I'm going to close that out. And uh, I, I, this is good for the planetary. Now, but for for stellar objects, deep space objects, uh, it's it's hard to beat um, Nina, uh, Sequence Generator Pro, uh, uh, Astronomical ast Astronomy Tool, um, all those are good. Anyway, so let's go back to Nina, 
And let's uh, pick an object. Uh, let's see. I gotta I gotta find an object to pick here. I forgot which one I wanted to pick at first. Um, it's still going into the twilight time, so you know, the sky's not all that dark. Oh, I got the moon. But um, uh, I'm looking at another program on my left here. Oh, let's see. Go to the computer clock real time. Um, M13. That's a good one. Uh, the great globular cluster in Hercules. So let's go to here and let's type in M13. M13 and uh, say search and uh, there it is right there the great hercules globular cluster set for framing it's going to pop up right here usually it's in a high you know one-to-one -one mode let's go into full screen and there it is now this is with my sensor on my camera uh the focal length being 910 millimeters the pixel size on the asi um, 071 is 4.78 micrometers or micron rather uh, micrometers same thing um, so this is the the size of the view that I'm going to be getting with that so if I'm happy with that um, I can do two things uh, at the moment I can say slew and center or I could say add to target add target to a sequence mm, which one do you want to do um, Let's slew it, slew in center. Let's just find that out. Okay, now it's slewing. So there, the uh, the telescope is beginning to move. And so I can I can monitor it over here in imaging on, on uh, Nina, and I, I got nothing yet. But it it's going to um, slew to the target, and from there, I could probably find it in um, Stellarium. Um, let's see. There, there's a telescope there. It's coming down to it. I think it's somewhere around here. Look at it. Isn't it neat? It's coming right down to the target. All right. It says it's nearby. I guess Hercules is this big area here. All right. I'm going to minimize this again. Um, all right. Now it's settling. The mount has just settled and it's taking a, a, a 10 second exposure just to see where it is. It's probably going to be over overkill because it's bright outside still. We're in twilight time. Yeah, let's see what happens. Um, we got some dirt on the lens. I can see that. Uh, I got a lot of dirt on. Well, there it is, right there. I got. I got to need to clean that filter off. Look at that. But it, it was close. It's going to ha probably have problems uh, because it's still a twilight time. It, it, it might be able to center it in, plate solve it. it. It's trying to solve. And, uh, well, okay, we're going to let it do one more time. I need to clean that filter off. Look at that. Look at all that dirt on there. Oh my gosh. I think I was some dew off from this morning or so that got on there. And the dust bunnies. I mean, it, it, it's bad, I know, but um, flats will take most of that out, if not all of it. Believe it or not. Take your flats. All right, there's one more thing I need to do. It's morning now, by the way. Good morning. Um, there's the uh, one of the final shots after the Meridian flip, and it did very well at that. I believe I got about five hours of data this to uh, work with, but I need to make my flats. As we remember, we had a lot of noise in the camera. So let's go to the flat wizard here. And you can see the telescope. I put a uh, tight white t-shirt across the lens and pointing it to a bright area of the sky away from the sun. And I think I have everything set. So let's just go and hit start. All right, I just covered up the scope, and now take the darks. And that's what it's going to do. Actually, the, the dark flats. And we're just about done. All right.
over to the processor and I'll be done. A quick view of the Heavenly Backyard Garden. It's really at its peak right now. It's been glorious over the last several weeks. Been having a lot of garden tours and visitors passing through the garden. And uh, either other than that, things are going not so well astronomically wise. We've been having so many nights of clouds across our area. Got a couple nights of clear weather conditions and then more clouds are gonna be streaming across our area. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. And unless you need rain, and we all know the western United States is bone dry and needs a lot of rain out there, but I don't see any coming for them. But unless you need rain, we're doing okay here. And clear skies, everyone.